So today I'm going to look at this Kiwit screwdriver set. They sent this to me at no cost for purpose of review. So it's the ES20 137 in one kit. So it's a little electric screwdriver and it's got loads of bits and stuff with it. So there's a list of bits and stuff that are in it. If you want to try and see if there's a particular one here which you would use. So there's silver nickel bits apparently, so they're obviously nickel plated. Help prevent corrosion, that sort of stuff. And here's the next page of the manual, a bit more information about it. So you'll see some other accessories, so you get a suction cup, SIM card pin, which is like for iPhones and stuff like that. 120mm POM pry tool. POM, I like POM. That's good. <laughs> I forgot what it actually stands for now. Polyoxy something or other, I can't remember what it was now. Cleaning brush, magnetizer, the magnetizer tool, which is this thing. A magnetic mat, nice, so it's good to have. Thin opening picks, you know, so spudger and thick spudger, extension shaft, metal spudger, flexible extension shaft, angled tweezers, obviously the electric screwdriver itself, and a USB cable for charging. And here's the specs 0.15 to 0.35 newton meters, 200 RPM no load. 350 milliamp hour battery, apparently 60 minutes to charge. Also goes in both directions. So everything's stored in this pouch. These flaps you can open up to get to everything, obviously holds it all in. So we've got all these positive drive bits stuff across here, or Phillips bits maybe. And these are tri wings and flat blades, security torques, U shaped bits and hexagonals and flats and all sorts of things. These U shaped ones can be used in games, consoles, and stuff like that, I think. Um, we've got some little nut drivers as well. Nut drivers are the only things they have. So these also do fold up. This side we've got charging cable, tweezer, brush. There's the POM. <laughs> little spudger. They're solid enough that you can do quite a bit of leverage with them, but they soft enough they don't tend to scratch things. A flexible and a solid extension shaft. Metal spudger. This can be handy too if you put a bit more force on something. Suction cup, and there's the ejection tool. There's some of these. The trick now, of these is always getting them back into the packaging. <laughs> and then we've got the magnetizing tool. The magnetizing tool just here. So, magnetize your shove it through there, demagnetize your shove it through there. And obviously, the actual screwdriver itself. It comes in a little tube. I mean, probably you could probably do away with the tube, maybe. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to because it might push the buttons. That's probably the point. So we've got this button here which does the torch. Which doesn't do a lot of my lighting. It does very little in fact. And <laughs> the my lighting because the lighting is so bright. And then you've got the forwards and reverse. Which one's which? That's forwards. That's reverse. So we can find something to pull apart. And also, must we got this. You've got the magnetic mat there. Inside that little pocket. These other ones don't have it, just this one here. So you can place your screws in a sequence. Magnetic Max always handy things to have. They do help quite a bit. One thing that's occurred to me just now, we've got these flaps here to help hold things in, right, so they don't fall apart and fall out and stuff like that. Why don't they come down lower so they cover up these ones as well? Why are these ones okay to fall out, but not these ones? Do you think that's a bit strange? And it's like not completely covered either, so these very in ones here. They could still drop out. I mean, they don't likely drop out anyway because they are kind of held in these quite nicely. They're not super rigid. They're held in quite well. There's a chance you could still have one fall out. I mean, either these are necessary or they're not. Which one is it? I mean, also, when you fold out like this, that face is rubbing against this face. Right, so if you, if you carry this thing around a lot and it gets a lot of movement, they'd be rubbing away all these indications about what's actually supposed to be in each slot. I actually do think that these pouch covers should come down lower, down to here, and be a little bit wider, at least on this one here, so it covers up this edge. And this side's probably fine, I'm not worried about that really, I mean that's going to be alright, but I think those could be slightly better for those little flaps. Otherwise there's no point having them at all. Kai Weeks, you see this? I think you probably will. Extend these flaps down a bit longer, you know, another couple of inches, you know, 40 mil, something like that, and make this one 10 mil wider, that would solve that problem. So I was looking closely at these just now, I was just going to choose which bit I need to pull this box apart I was going to demonstrate on, let's try it out. And I noticed you've got two double zeros up here, well actually I'll do it from here, look, you've got two quad zeros, two triple zeros, two double zeros, two zeros, two ones, two twos, two talks ones, two talks twos, two talk three, two talks four, 
So it's like the ones which are commonly used and are likely to wear out from you know use and stuff like that. They've sort of given you extra ones, which is quite nice. You've got the same down here with these triple zeros down here. And those are doubled up as well. These tri wings are doubled up, up to certain sizes. So it's like the ones which are commonly used to be the ones which you might likely wear out. That's quite nice of them, isn't it? All right, so I've chosen a bit, which is a number two Phillips. Drop it in there. That is slightly magnetic. That holds quite well. Doesn't fall out. Like I said, the LEDs on this isn't particularly bright. I mean, under my lighting, you can barely even see anything there. I will just do a comparison here. I actually own the rail stick. I've had this one for a while. I got sent this one by Banger True Review some time ago, actually. This just sits up here. I just have this one bit in it. It's the only bit I actually have in it. I don't have any of the other bits out. This is really good for small screws, right? I've got this uh, set up with a number one Phillips right now. If I operate this one, you get these only come on when you're operating it, right? But if you look at my hand, can you see? My hand actually lights up with the LEDs on this screwdriver. I put this screwdriver here. See anything? No. So the LEDs on the rail stick are actually much better. If that bothers you, you may not care. Generally, if the lighting's good enough anyway, it shouldn't matter. So let's try this. So I can also do the same comparison with the rail stick, actually. Because they're all basically competing products, aren't they? Turn it by hand. Yeah, that doesn't slip at all. Let's undo it. We'll try and undo it. See how much torque this has got. Now these screws are very tight because they're into plastic. They've never been really undone. I mean, put in once, that's it. Can it do it? Oh, yes, it can. Okay, that's actually quite good. Let's try another one. Push it right in first. So it's definitely torqued down. Yeah, that's actually doing quite well. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the bit out of this and put this in the rail stick. And I'll do these other two over here instead to compare them. The risk there is actually you leave the LEDs on, I had that just then. Here's the same bit. Make sure these are screwed down. This is the rail stick now, for comparison. Let's see how this goes. No, can't do it. See, torque difference is pretty big actually. So this has actually got more torque than the rail stick has. Let's try a second one. No. This is charged as well, I charged it up last week. No. No. Still nothing. Yeah. So there's a huge difference there between those two screwdrivers. This other one's got much more torque. And that's actually one of the things I think the round stick could have done better with. It needed more torque. That's actually quite good. So let's try putting them back in again. Yeah, all the way in, no trouble at all. Yeah, see this is fine. This has got more grunt than a rail stick. Oh, this one's going slightly crooked, so it's struggling a bit harder. Here we go, it's in. But yeah, I'm actually really impressed by that. That's got good torque. Now, actually, when I first tried to undo these, you may have noticed it actually spun in my hand a little bit. I actually let go of the button because it spun, because it's having to apply that much torque to try and get these things out. So, obviously, when you get used to using it, you get to know how hard to grip it and how to grip it and that sort of stuff. I wasn't expecting to have that much torque on it compared to the rail stick, and that's definitely an improvement. That's good. And you should also bear in mind, I haven't actually charged this up yet. I've only just got it out of the packet, so whatever charge is in it from the factory is what it's using right now. So, it might be even better once you charge it up, it's easier. Plug that in. And we've got a red LED over there. Showing us charging. Which isn't that visible because it's quite deeply set inside the screwdriver. If you're looking for it, I suppose you'll see it. If you get the angle right, you'll see it. But it is in there quite a long way. It's probably down about here somewhere. Probably about there somewhere on the actual board. I'd estimate it's about there. So there must be a circuit board in the middle of the actual unit and it's just sitting on that circuit board. So what I should have really done is put a light pipe in there. So it brought the light out to the outside so you could see it better. So let's try something else. Let's see if we can actually use this thing whilst it's on charge. Will it increase the torque? It might do. So look. Well, it's certainly not struggling there. Not really. It's doing stuff the rail stick can't do. Yeah, well. 
I mean, that is hard to undo, right? These screws are tight. So I'm actually really surprised it's doing as well as it is. That's only the second time they've ever been screwed into this plastic. So they're gradually cutting away in, you know? Yeah, that's actually really good. So being on charge at the same time actually does seem to give it slightly more power. It's probably not good for the motor, but it does work. Another thing which is better about this than the Rallstick package is that the Rallstick one had these plastic tubes exactly the same as this, like these, these tubes like this, right? For the actual screwdriver itself and for all the bit sets. So all the bits are in little round carousels stacked up inside these tubes, which is great for portability, I suppose. But it does mean a lot of messing around if you're trying to find the right bits. Plus all the outside of the tubes are all marked up with you know what bits are in it. So you're trying to look through the tube to try and find the bits as well. You've got three tubes, I think it was. And, you know, it's okay. But I think this kind of setup is better because you can just, it's just quickly, it's all right in front of you and you just go quite quickly to the one you want. And visually it's all right there, you can see quite quickly, you know, oh yeah, I want a flat bit, or well, there's one there, you know, or some over here, <laughs> you know, or you want a Phillips or a Posi or over here, you know, or there's the Torx ones, you can see them really quickly. You know, the nut drivers here, really obvious. So it's really quick and easy to see into. But yeah, I think that's a better system is to have it in these pouches like this. So I think this is another advantage over the Rouselick. So it's more torque and it's a better pack, but the pack is definitely bigger. Now, even if you didn't have all these accessories, like the Rouselick doesn't come with that stuff, it just comes with this. This takes up more room, but I think for practical aspects, this is better. You know, if you want to use the thing, this is better for usage. I'm not really sure what else I can say about this. It's a screwdriver set, <laughs> you know? So thanks a lot, Kyber, send this to me at no cost. That was brilliant. And check out the links down below for other reviews and things I'm fixing and things like that. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Patreon support link over there if you want to become a Patreon, help support the channel. Catch you later.